Welcome to Introduction to React episode 11. I'm Jack Carrington, at Jaher on Twitter, and this is Blue Collar Coder. So in the previous video, we migrated the application to using use context to share state between the application component and a lot of the nested components. But we still have three different state hooks and three different pieces of state. Can we congeal those into one piece of state and one dispatch system that allows you to go and tweak that state and send actions to a thing called a reducer, which manages that state. Well, yes, we can. And it turns out it's built into Re Re React. It's called use reducer. Let's go try it out in the code right now. Picking up where we left off, we've got the three use states and the Pokemon context.provider that provides those out to the different components. The first thing we're going to do is create a reducer. We'll call that Pokemon reducer. A reducer is a function. It takes a state and an action. The state is the current state of the store. It's got the Pokemon, the filter, and the selected Pokemon. Then the action is an object. And that object defines the mutation that's to be applied to the state. And then the, a new state is to be returned. So in most cases, we use a switch statement. And then we switch on the type inside of the action object. And that type is a string. In the first case, we'll use set filter. This is going to be an action that tells the reducer, Pokemon reducer, to take the current state and then set the filter key to whatever the payload is. So we're going to return a new object. It's going to contain all of state. And then we're going to update filter to the payload. Next, we'll copy that and paste it three times. One for set Pokemon, which is going to set the Pokemon array, and one for set selected Pokemon. So we'll first change out the strings, set Pokemon, set selected Pokemon, and then the keys, Pokemon, and selected Pokemon. And the last thing to do is set a default case. In the case of use reducer, you throw an exception if you don't know what the action is. In Redux, you actually just return the original state. So there's a bit of a difference there. So this is actually a really simple reducer. Our app is really simple, so that makes sense. But in most cases, a single action is going to mutate multiple parts of the state simultaneously. In this case, we are using use reducer simply because it allows us to get around having three use states. We can just have the one use reducer. So let's go do that. So we're going to define a constant array of state and dispatch. And that's going to be the result of react.useReducer. And then we give it the Pokemon reducer, and then the initial state. So that's an object. Pokemon set to an empty array. Filter set to an empty string. And selected Pokemon set to null. Now I'm going to leave the use states in here so that we have a functional application as we migrate to the reducer. Next thing to do is go and add that to our context provider. We're just going to go in and add state and dispatch. And let's start the migration by first looking at our use effect. And now instead of Pokemon set, we are going to dispatch an action to the store using that dispatch command. Dispatch takes an object. That object is the action object that gets sent to the reducer. So in this case, we want the type to be set Pokemon. And we want the payload to be the data that we got back from the fetch request. The next thing to do is look at this conditional where it says Pokemon, we're going to look at state.pokemon. Pokemon. 
because that's now managed by the reducer. So let's take a look. Okay, it turns out our Pokemon table can't find Pokemon. So let's go fix that. Let's go over to Pokemon table. And so now we're getting from use context, Pokemon filter and selected Pokemon set. So we need to fix that. We need to get Pokemon and filter from state and we're gonna use dispatch for selected Pokemon set. So we'll destructure state to get Pokemon and filter and we'll also get dispatch. So now the code should work because Pokemon is now set in state and filter is set in state as well. Now we just need to change out that selected Pokemon set for a dispatch. So we'll give it an object again, this time of type set selected Pokemon with the payload of the Pokemon. All right, it looks pretty good. Things are moving along, but we can't filter. So let's go over to Pokemon filter and do essentially the same thing. We're going to destructure state and get filter. And then change filter set to dispatch. Once again, we'll send an object in dispatch of type Set filter with the payload of the target value. Now, in all honesty, you can structure that action any way you want, but by convention, people tend to use type and payload. Okay, let's try some filtering again. And it looks good. Nice. But the more information button doesn't work. So let's click on Pokemon info. Again, we'll destructure state. And now that works too. Going back to app.js, we can now remove the use states and also remove those from the provider. And there you have it. Now we've gone from use state to use reducer, and that use reducer uses this Pokemon reducer function. That Pokemon reducer function takes two arguments, state and action, and it mutates the state depending on what you send in for that action. And this is really handy to go and reduce the number of use states, the number of hooks that you use. And it's also really good if you've got interactions between parts of the state. This is essentially a model, so it can be as complex or as easy as you like. And even better, as a nice side effect, you can independently unit test this. Obviously, if you just look at the code, right, there's nothing React specific in there. It's just a big switch statement. So it's pretty easy to write a set of unit tests around it that test every part of the reducer and make sure that it's working properly. All right, I know that reducers can seem like an alien concept. You've got this initial state and then you send these actions into it and they, those mutate that state. And it's a little weird, but it is the kind of core foundation to a system called Redux, which is very popular and out there in the wild. So if you're in your career, you're probably gonna end up working on a Redux application at some point and it's worth knowing how those work. All right, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button, click on that bell and you'll be notified anytime a new one of these videos comes out. In the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.